Actress Angelina Jolie makes a very personal announcement today that she underwent a preventative double mastectomy. Through genetic testing, Jolie discovered that she has a gene that put her at risk for developing breast cancer that risk at 87 percent. Well, she finished three months of medical procedures on April 27th, and according to her now, her risk of developing breast cancer is now less than 5%. Well, one in 400 people are carriers of the same mutation that Angelina Jolie has. Karen Parks tells us many women are deciding to follow Jolie's lead. We talked to several women today with that genetic marker who chose radical surgery instead of the high risk for cancer. My mom was diagnosed with breast cancer in um, around December of 1999. Tamara Barnes knew then what she needed to do. At that time, I had talked to her about getting genetically tested. Tamara's mother tested positive for the faulty BRCA1 gene, which allows bad genes to grow. And while the risk of developing cancer varies. Chances are much higher for breast and ovarian cancer. I think it's a very emotional decision. Um, there's a lot of factors to consider. The 40-year-old mother of one decided to have her ovaries removed, reducing the chance of cancer. So I think I'm going to do screening and then consider radical mastectomy. 37-year-old Academy Award winner Angelina Jolie underwent a preventative double mastectomy earlier this year after learning she carries the BRCA1 gene, raising awareness of the importance of genetic testing. Essentially, people usually have um, either a personal um, history of breast or ovarian cancer or a family history of early breast and ovarian cancer. Christy Hackerson is a genetic counselor at Greater Baltimore Medical Center. What's recommended is increased breast screening for women that are found to be BRCA1 positive. So um, doing breast mammograms and MRIs alternating every six months is, is what the recommendation is. When I found out I was positive. And Jana Frashtat says, just like Angelina Jolie, she won't take any chances. In June, I'll be having double mastectomy and then probably November, December sometime, I'm going to do the gynecological surgeries of ovaries and fallopian tubes. Once again, doctors recommend consistent screening before you decide on radical surgery. Karen Parks, Fox 25, News at 10.